What's up, y'all? This is Bad News Brown. Real quick, man. Let the end justify the means. And what I mean is, whatever you're doing, have an end goal. And stick to that end goal. For instance, if you're working a 9 to 5, well, that shouldn't be your end all be all. Depending on what you want in life. But I say that to say when somebody... Because a lot of cats don't like working nine to fives. Or they don't like doing whatever they need to do to get themselves right. And it's usually because they embarrassed. Or they they tripping on how the next person going to look at them. But you need to let the end justify the means. And that remind me of that scene in the old school movie, White Men Can't Jump. When... The Woody Harrelson character told uh, the Wesley Snipes character he'd rather look good than lose than look bad than win. Think about that point. And of course, you don't have to look bad to win, but it's more or less where you place in your priorities. And of course, I had to learn this as well. We all go through a, a particular phase or certain phases in life. But, again, you need to let the end justify the means. So, no different than somebody collecting cans. Yeah, they, to, to you, they may look like a bum. But, depending on what their objective is, collecting cans can take them a long way. Now, this is not to say, do I recommend just collected cans? No. Well, for another instance, in that example... Out here, when we see a lot of the, uh, the Asians back in the day, you usually see the old lady out collecting cans, or the older ones. But what a lot of us didn't know was, it, for one, their family unit is a lot more tighter than the average family unit of African Americans here in America. And another thing is, not only that, they bring all their money back to the same pot. So whatever grandma make for that day, whether the cans or whatever, she bringing it back to the pot, the son, whatever job he had, the daughters and so on and so forth. So it's a primary objective. And they letting the end justify the means because within a year or two, they didn't purchase that house. And they repeat the same process, probably refinance, move out, move some more of their people in. And there's more than one way to skin a cat, but that is just an example of how not only one person, but a group of people let it let the end justify the means. So whatever you're doing out here, man, you, you better you better have a, a plan. If you're out here moving reckless and desperate, your plan probably going to be jail. And I ain't got to tell you that. It's, uh, you know, though it'll be those that'll be and those that won't be. And sometimes you really just got to focus on you really all the time but not in a selfish way but you need to get you right so in order you can get other people right another analogy I like to use hey I need to let my cup overflow runneth over you know and then you can then I can put my cup over your cup and you know you, you can get some with my shit overflowing but if I'm constantly pouring out my cup into your cup I ain't going to never get where I need to be. So that's another way to make it easier for somebody to understand out here. And I'm just sitting here thinking about this real quick as I uh, go on with my day. But I don't know, man. It's I don't know. Life is life. People is going to be people. So you got to kind of understand that. And I don't want to say you can't change the world and all that because that's not really what I'm trying to say because although you can, but it's not like the fairy tale way how it's led to believe. I'll I, I put it like that. But yeah, man, y'all keep pushing out there, man, whatever you're doing. Not whatever you're doing because I'm don't. i keeping 100, man. Certain shit people got going on I don't like. And I ain't going to support you. You're going to get my blessings. And depending on what it is, I may even go out my way to stop it. But I usually, I, and I know hater ass, jealousy way, I'm really talking about you, do you up to some 
some old bullshit. But if you just, you know, doing what you do and I ain't cool with it, that don't mean that nah, I'm just gonna stay away from it. But then again, well, that's another story. But y'all get the point. Man, keep on it, man. Stay on point at all times. And don't stop. It don't matter, man. You fall, get your ass back up and keep on pushing, man. And another thing, it ain't even that. It is really, and, and for a lot of my demographic, it is, it's the focus and the application of the knowledge. And really, honestly, man, y'all, you got to stay focused, man. You got to be sober sometimes. You know? And that's just keep it 100, man. You, you got to know where you're going. Again, you got to know where you're going. So, if this apply to you, man, listen. If it don't, let it fly. It's just some con constructive information I'm bringing to y'all right quick, man. You know, this bad news ground, man. I, I got a story to tell really about everything. Uh, uh, as you see, I'm warming up or whatnot. And it's another thing, man. They already playing with my numbers and shit. 